Hey guys, I wanted to do another video. Say hi. Okay, he doesn't say hi, but that's the horse that I'll take care of. And we're on a walk because it's getting really warm and I wasn't feeling like riding because I have been sitting around yesterday, all day, today, and it's so damn beautiful that I just wanted to go out. And so during my recovery, I didn't care for him. I was away and I didn't move for, I think, two months. I mean, yes, I moved to go to the supermarket, but other than that, I literally didn't move if I, I had, didn't have to. Um, because whenever I would, I would struggle so much with having energy. And then also whenever I would then be at home again or sit down, rest, I would just be extremely hungry. I would be dead. I would be so hungry. So it was just really not worth it. And I noticed the more I rested, the more energy. I was scared that there's people. There's someone. So I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, I put my sunglasses and I know I look horrible, but I just want to show you the forest. There was an animal. There's so many flies, they're really annoying, both him and me. You see, like he's shaking his head because the flies are approaching him. So don't worry if he's doing that, that's because he flies. Now about exercise again. So I didn't even go for walks. I think I mentioned that before, but I think it's very important that you realize also going on walks is exercise when it comes to recovery. Um, and when I say no movement, I mean, even within the, the house sometimes, yes, I would dance because I would have these bursts of energy. So I wasn't on complete, um, how's it called? When you just sit the whole day and you are not allowed to move. That's not what I did. But honestly, looking back, I think I would have helped a lot to just make the process much quicker. But the most important thing is that you don't move like to move, but only you move because, um, yeah, because you have to. Um, so I watched this one video of a girl and whenever I watch videos of, or now I don't watch them anymore, but when I used to watch videos of people that would do a lot of movement um, next to recovery, they were nearly always struggling a lot with actually recovering and the ones that would completely not do an exercise anymore and that would eat whatever they wanted to and not according to a specific diet like vegan they would recover really quickly and yes you will gain a lot of weight but at the same time um, what happens is that yes you will gain weight very quickly but you will feel much better very quickly as well because <laughs> you can release all of these like you are not attached to your ED anymore because you're not doing these behaviors anymore. And if you keep doing exercise, wait, there's another person, but you keep like this connection to your ED. So it's very important to let go of that. I always feel horrible because he keeps wanting to eat food, like grass, like every other animal. And I always tell him no, because once you let the horse eat while you go on walks or while you ride him, he will keep doing it and if you always tell him no, like over time he learns to just accept the no. So right now he's doing really well, like other horses would have kept because there's literally grass right next to the, um, how's it called? To the road? No, it's path. path. Okay, anyway, about exercise again. So if you keep doing exercise, even if it's a very small amount, you will keep, um, like this because it's still because of your ed um you have to kind of like accept that during recovery you don't have the energy to actually do an exercise because it's called recovery for a reason you have to recover that means you have to rest a lot oh, the flies are getting annoying. you have to rest a lot you have to just give your body as much energy as possible and if you try to also get it away again like through exercise you will not be able to actually recover and so there is no reason why you would want to uh, exercise of course there's always a thing with like um, hobby sports um, that you don't want to give up because of the friends and stuff 
but then you have to think about like is it better to quit it for one year or two years and then actually enjoy it again or to keep on kind of like being in quasi recovery so yeah you have to kind of like admit that you don't have the energy for exercise and then you actually have to stop exercising no matter how small the exercise is if you say like oh but i'm only doing five minutes workout question are you actually craving to do a five minutes workout or do you just want to kind of like hold this control that you have because you know like five minutes will maybe help burn some calories or help um, me kind of like keep some of the routine so yeah in the end yeah right they shouldn't do that huh <laughs> no but yeah you have to just really really realize that during recovery there's no room for exercise no matter how small it is because your body needs every ounce of energy that can get Ooh, i think it's the uh, something happened because it's the one that if you get insured uh, an injury like a really bad injury the helicopter comes to you i mean it's common in every country but i feel like switzerland is even more common because we have a lot of mountains and so usually the only way people can be rescued in the mountains is by helicopters and usually the place people get um get insured a lot is during hiking or skiing right or during riding but luckily i never got injured uh, injured so yeah again about exercise as difficult as it sounds like you have to let it go um i remember being in the denial phase for a long long time so i was always like no but for me like i'm the exception i can gain weight so fast anyway i'm eating so much like it doesn't matter whether i'm exercising or not in the end i have to admit that everyone was right you really have to let go of exercise because it will keep you in your ed for much longer than necessary so the quickest way to recover and you guys want a quick way to recover right like that's what you usually ask for like how can i recover quickly how can i lose over so quickly and as like how do i say as weird as it sounds because usually like how can i lose weight quickly yeah do exercise in recovery if you really want to be recovered you have to really <laughs> let go of exercise because your body has to find its set point weight through um very through a very natural process and at the beginning you will not want to do exercise only after a few months you will start having like enough energy to actually exercise but before that if you actually listen to what your body says you won't even want to do exercise so yeah that was a really long rant about why you shouldn't do exercise during recovery and then don't like plan to do it again but actually what i did and what was really good and what works really well is just i never plan on doing sports but then sometimes um i just have these and i'm sweating because it's so well i have these bursts of energy where i'm like no but today i really want to do exercise and i'm so energetic that i want to go on a run which barely happens i think so far it happened like four times but it has happened before sorry the flies are again in my face um so yeah literally if you then are recovered and you reach your separate weight don't start exercise keep on leaving exercise aside exercise is for you when you actually crave it and trust me if you truly listen to your body you will not at all want to do exercise during your recovery okay so my boy and i wait i'm gonna show you his beautiful face okay he looks look he doesn't look that cute but in real life he does like look at him he's so sweet um we wish you a great day do us a favor rest enjoy the sun but from your balcony or your garden or from a local cafe where you drink the most sugary um drink you can find um and of course accompanied by the, by a meal or a cake so yeah um, whoops, 
I wish you all the best and he wish you all the best. Bye. Mm -hmm.